Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a cute card using the Festive and Fun stamp set, along with the um, Berry Christmas Designer Series paper. As you can see through the pack, I have cut a lot of the images out of the designer series paper, and that's what we're going to be using today, those images that I cut out. But before um, we get started on this project, I'm going to show you a bunch of cards that I have made. Um, so this is a show and tell with some stamping, but we're going to do all the show and tell first. So I have a set of cards here that I have made with the masterfully made designer series paper. Um... And I used a decorative circle punch. They're all the book binding fold. And these um, cards use some confetti card stock for the base that is retired. I am going through my stash of retired items and trying to use them up. So I'm using up this paper. The sentiment says, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. I am not sure which stamp set that came from, but it is a current stamp set because <laughs> I just made a bunch of cards all at once. So these are the ones that I use the masterfully made designer series paper. Okay, so we'll put these to the side. Then we'll go to the ones I made a set using the Lay Shops designer series paper. These are super cute. I love this one. I used the heart from the heart hexagon, heartfelt hexagon stamp set. That's where the heart came from. And again, I am not sure. This I think is from Hope You Know, the stamp set called Hope You Know. I used the um, online exclusive dies. What are these called? Radiating stitches, I think. But this is this card. Then this is the second one. I used the circle sayings for this this is again the circle sayings okay I use the circle sayings and the heartfelt hexagon punch not the circle sayings oh gosh um raindrop <laughs> embossing folder <laughs> I'm thinking of circle sayings here, but um, I use circle punches and the heartfelt hexagon punch and then the raindrop embossing folder. I can't remember where the miss you came from. Probably, um, what? Something fancy, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Here's another one using this same layout, just turned the other way. And then this one, I like this. I really like this one. This is some of that um, denim ribbon, I think it's called. Bordered ribbon. So it's Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. That's cute. But that's um, all the cards I made with the Lace Shops designer series paper. Then we have some that I've used the 2023 to 2025 in color designer series paper pack. So these are all the new in colors. And I've, um, this is not a fun fold, but it's kind of sorta, it's just another way to lay it out. I had some, some of this confetti cardstock left, but I only had it in a four by eight. And so I just made that a card and put it on a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock. So I use that match the designer series paper. And this is from the Hey Chuck stamp set. I do know that. <laughs> Cause I love that stamp set. So I know, I know that when I see it. <laughs> so I just did the same card in all of the different colors. And there's only one um, part of the designer series paper. Oh, these open up at the... So yeah, I did some that opened differently. So I used all of the patterns except for... No, actually, I used all of the patterns. Because the hearts and the polka dots... Oh, no, I didn't use one of them. 
and then the stripes. I didn't use this one, this little pattern here. But I was trying to get all of the designer series paper. I'm trying to get better at using my designer series paper, you guys. That's why I'm making all these cards. Okay. And so the, the last set, I used the Hello Irresistible 6x6 designer series paper. This is an online exclusive. And it has dies and a stamp set that all coordinate and some embellishments. Some loose, like, little baubles. Okay, so let's see. I made quite a bit of cards with this because I used each sheet in here. So I made this one. And this is um, just wanted to say, I think, dies. Or wanted to say dies. That's cute. I like that simple layout. Then I use this. This is cute celebrate and happy birthday i think that's all i use the dies this one is super cute i like side by side the split card <laughs> so i did one with happy birthday and one with celebrate and just did them opposite there's another one i love this one it's nice and simple. I think this might have been my favorite sheet in this pack. <laughs> then I have a top fold one. That's side by side. Happy birthday. Then a top, um, not top fold, but another side, side by side. Happy, um, celebrate. But, okay, now we're getting into the ones. I used a heartfelt hexagon punch with a different stamp set and I can't remember. This might be something fancy, I'm not sure. I hope your day is filled with joy. Then I have some of that Lost Lagoon ribbon back there. It's really cute. And this, this ribbon, the thinking of you, I think that's, uh, what is that one with the leaf? Oh, goodness gracious. Layering leaves. I think that's where this sentiment comes from. But this ribbon, I have no idea what this is. I found some ribbon tied in a bow in my drawer. <laughs> so I untied it and used it on a couple of cards. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is really pretty, too. I love this background. It's really nice. And as you can see, I didn't really do much decorating on the inside of these cards. I just put a strip of designer series paper. But I just wanted to use up this confetti card stock. And I've used it all up now. <laughs> so that is the last card using the Hello Irresistible designer series paper, which is an online exclusive. Okay. And that heartfelt hexagon punch that it has a stamp set, it comes in a bundle. Um, it's an early release. So that's found online. I think you guys can get it now. I'm not sure if it's for demonstrators only right now or if customers can get it. It's an early release. So I think you guys can order it. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. Let's go over some buzzworthy business before we get to our project. We have our Warm Wishes um, Paper Pumpkin Kit for November. You have until the 10th of November to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit that makes eight boxes, has a mossy metal stamping spot, and comes with some food safe bags, okay? Of course, it also comes with a stamp set. We have an add-on for 20 cards and 20 envelopes. It's $14. The item number is 163985. And you can get that add-on right now if they're still available because those are while supplies last. Next up, we're going to talk about our 35-year anniversary starter kit promotion, 35% off or 35% more. So lower the price of your starter kit or just add more things to your starter kit. Those are your options. And if you sign up now, you're going to get a free registration to the virtual on-stage event in November, which is a $77 value. Lastly, we have our host code for October. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up!
Okay, so now let's get to our project because this video is going to be long. I am making a shaker card today. I haven't made one of those in a minute. So I have a card base here of real red, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, burnishing that with our bone folder. We have some designer series paper here that is five, five and a quarter by four. And we're just going to glue this down. I think, oh my gosh, am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm going to glue this down to our card base. I just start doing stuff. Then I have some basic white here that is three and a half by four and three quarters for the inside of our card. And we're going to put a strip of designer series paper on here that is four by um, three quarters. And we're going to cut it down to three and a half. I'm going to put that on there just like that. Make sure none of the white is showing at the bottom. Then I cut out a tiny little deer. And we're going to sit him on the inside of the card, decorate the inside of our card. And I know I've already messed up because I need to stamp on the inside of this and I've already glued down some stuff. So if my stamping is not good, I have wasted some things. Let me put some glue behind this one foot. Not too much. Okay, so where are my scissors? I'm gonna cut this. Trim that even. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the inside so that I won't waste my um, layering mat for this. So we have some Night of Navy ink. And we're gonna stamp, may your season be one that's festive and fun. stamp that about there Whew. luckily that came out okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and close up the night of navy ink and layer this to some real red cards oh no i was supposed to cut not real red i need some night of navy <laughs> let me get some paper oh, let me move that out the way get my paper trimmer and I think I might just do balmy blue. Because that is a color. Whoop. In this um what is this? In the designer series paper. So we're gonna cut this at three and three quarters by five. Let me see. Three and three quarters by five. Because I cut the wrong color. I had a piece of red, but the card base is red. So I don't know where I was going with that. It's a good thing I did stamp first because I might not have noticed it. So let's put that on here. You guys have to excuse the creaking of my, my chair. Ooh. And then we're gonna take this and put it on the inside of our card base. So we have the inside done. That's pretty. That looks cute just like that. Okay, so next, what are we gonna do? I have a piece of basic white that is um, three and a quarter by four and a half. And this was some scrap. So I cut, I was cutting circles with the stylish shapes. And um, this was like, I think number five from the counting from the inside. And it was too big. But I didn't want to throw this paper away because I thought that looks like something like a picture frame. I can put something behind here. And then I thought, ooh, I can make a shaker. So I just kept it. So that was already die cut out of there. So what we're going to do is get some tear and tape. And we're going to put tear and tape all around 
this little frame here. Because we are going to put our window sheet on. Whoop. And this is just um, so the window sheet will stick to the paper. Um, Cause glue, I, you can use glue or glue dots. As you can see, some spaces are really kind of tight for the um, tear and tape to go because of the width. I probably put this down too far, but we'll see. You guys, we'll see. And I cut my window sheet to three and three sixteenths squared just to barely be under um, the size of this portion of the, the card, the card stop. Oh, oh. oh no. Come off. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want it to overhang. Okay, so we got our window sheet on there. So now I am going to stamp our sentiment on here. And I think I want it to go at the bottom. And I'm stamping in real red. And we're going to stamp Happy Christmas Wishes. I really didn't design this card in my head. I just seen this and started pulling pieces. And before I fully designed it, I thought, let me go ahead and record a video. Oh, Cause that's smart. Don't design your card all the way, but make a video. Oh, that's cricket. So what are we gonna do? Let's see. I have some strips of paper here that I keep on my desk. Let's see if we can get it straight on that. That looks kind of straight. Maybe we'll do bannered in. So let's see. Let me get my punch here. The banners pick a punch. I told you this is not planned. <laughs> Let me see. I have no idea the size of this. It looks like a half inch strip, but how long it is, I don't know. This is just, so we're gonna have to put this on the front. So we're gonna have to cut this down a little bit more. So let's punch it one more time. Ooh, that should be good. And we'll just cover it up just like that. Hey, mistake averted. Okay. So we're going to need some uh, foam adhesive strips to put on here. So I have them right here. Let's get them out. Let's go ahead and peel the backing off. It, it folds better when the backing is not on there. Whoop. Hopefully, we won't go too far. Oh, wow. This, this made it all the way around. Yay. I thought I was going to have to piece it together. Okay. So, let's put... Some pieces on here to make sure it's all supported. Hmm. I don't want anything to collapse down. So now I am going to remove the backings from these foam tapes here. Get 
get it all off. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, you know what? Let me get my glasses cleaning cloth. <laughs> oh goodness, this is the cloth I use to clean my glasses, but I wanna make sure this window sheet is clean on the inside. Okay. Then I have our, what is this? Loose silver sequence. We're gonna put some of this in our shaker. So let's see. We're gonna put this on our card base here. That should be enough. I don't want too much. Well, it's not covering anything because I'm not stamping <gasps> any words. That's not the good thing. <laughs> we don't want bits sticking to the... Okay, so I do want them all in one area. Let's close this up so we don't make a mistake and spill anything out. Come on. There's bits trying to stick. <laughs> okay. I told you this video is going to be long because I'm not prepared like I should have been. So we're going to just lay this on here like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Nothing's falling out. So that's a good sign that we did our shaker correctly. Okay. Okay. So now we just need to decorate. Okay, so for decorations, I have this bear here with the Christmas tree. We're gonna just glue this down. Then this little wolf holding a present, holding a little gift, we'll put him on the side here. And we can't forget about our sentiment that we're gonna put up. So let me go ahead and glue our sentiment down. I'm just going to put the glue on here so that I don't go too far out. And I know I can put it right across those words because that's what we're covering up. Try to get that centered. So that looks pretty good. Yep, I like it. I know it's white on white, but that's okay. Then we're going to go ahead and glue this down. I love this paper. It's so unique. I like that we can get all the cut all these little images out. And I like using up my scraps. So we're just going to sit him right here like that then we're going to take our little fox not fox our wolf nothing like a fox Shauna is it a wolf yeah I believe this is a wolf and we're going to put him right here holding his little package his little gift and then, and then, and then, and then, we're going to get some bling bling. I, oh, let's see. We have this one we can use. I'm going to use sequence. Or this one. Or maybe this. Maybe that one. I think I want to use this one. I want red. Is there red in this? There's Poppy Parade. Let's see. We might be doing some coloring of sequence. Oh, that looks pretty good. So let's use these um, iridescent adhesive back discs. And we're gonna be using the Poppy Parade ones, I guess. So let's get our take your pick tool. I've never used these before. Hmm. I'm trying to 
trying to see, do I want these? Yeah, let's use these. These are cute. They're nice and flat. I'm just gonna use one right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, well there you have it. There's the card we made today, our shaker. Our little shaker shaker. That's so cute. Real simple. And then all of the cards I shared with you for the show and tell. We have a bunch of them, a bunch of cards from the show and tell. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.